I want to take this opportunity, if I may, in closing, I want to address um, this issue with the Commission of Education and uh, the Department of Education. And I want to do this in the corollary of two visions. If on a normal day, any official of this government should remove assets of this government and take them off for their personal use, the response from me as governor, without prior and proper notification, the response from me as governor should be a tough one. It should be clear that the assets of the government of the Virgin Islands must be protected at all costs. And that we must know where our assets and our equipment are all of the time. But in a corollary situation, a hurricane comes by, 180 plus mile an hour of sustained winds on the eastern end of St. Thomas and it devastates St. John and we lose assets in this process, and ahead of a government, a department, and agency rescues six Virgin Islanders. One set that, they, that she rescues actually walk with their elderly parents because they have lost their roofs and their windows, and because her home isn't damaged, she invites them into her home. And here's a 16 kilowatt generator Karen, a washing machine, no a dryer. That she moves to her home to provide power that folks in her home are benefiting from in terms of who she has rescued. The question is whether is that inappropriate. We don't want our assets all over the place. And I think one of the things I'm learning from this whole event is that yes, the Commission of Property Procurement and I are going to have to issue an edict that in the future, if there's any movement of assets of the government of the Virgin Islands, we must know in writing, we must know under whose authority it's being moved, we must know why, and we must say where it is. But under the circumstance of that disaster, and the housing and rescuing, rescuing of employees of the Department of Education to get shelter, I am not and I do not see any need to exact any punishment or emoluments out of Sharon McCollum for what she did. The government has full possession of its generator. The reports from the Inspector General, which I read in its entirety, says that the generator was delivered to Dr. McCollum's home by the government. That the employees that were servicing the generator were receiving funds from Commissioner McCollum for oil and gas to run the generator. And so I who I know that I had Dr. McCollum and her team all over these islands trying to get school open within one month of the storms, I will exact no punishment, no emoluments, or extract any emoluments from Sharon McCollum for the use of the generator.